All right, heads, what's up? What do Jerry Garcia and Elvis Presley have in common? Well, it might just be this guy right here, Ron Tut. Check it out. On the drums from Dallas, Texas, is hard working Ronnie Tut. All right, heads, what's happening? How's everybody doing today? So check it out. What we're gonna talk about today is what Jerry Garcia and Elvis Presley had in common. Now, the amazing thing that they shared was the brilliant drummer, Ronnie Tut. Um, Ron Tut would have been 85 years old today. He passed a couple years back, um, so let's give the amazing Ron Tut a big hand and a happy birthday because he kicked ass. Jerry had an obvious revolving drum seat with a lot of different people sitting in, literally like like maybe nine or ten drummers over the years. I mean, let me see. Like Ron Tut was in from about 74 to 78 on and off, and during the time that he was not playing with Jerry, he would be off touring or doing records with Elvis um, and the Taking Care of Business Band was the name of Elvis's band that he was in. But yeah, from 74 to 78, he played a lot of Jerry shows, especially during 77. Um, like I said, you know, Jerry had a ton of drummers. Um, what, Humphrey Kemper, Buzz Buchanan, fucking Gaylord Birch, um, uh, Greg Errico, um, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Anyway, um, uh, David Kemper, who was towards the end of Jerry's scene, all through, all the way up to Jerry passing, I believe. But you could tell that Jerry favored Ron because Ron is playing drums on four of Jerry's first five records. Compliments, Reflections, Cats Under the Stars, and Run for the Roses. So clearly, Jerry knew who we wanted in the studio, and Ron Tut was it. It's crazy, because Ron Tut would come and play Jerry gigs and just wear his normal clothes and play really well, but playing like he's playing right now. Really tight, 
really mellow, really cool. This is a show from Galita that Noganu has on his channel that um, we're listening to, and I'll put the specifics up in the notes below. But it, it, it he just fit Jerry's style so well that Jerry used him in the studio over and over and over again. Um, like I said a moment ago, can you picture like 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 Ron Tut in his full-on Elvis matching outfits with everybody <laughs> and all the glitz and glamour and all the stuff that went along with an Elvis show <laughs> if he wore that to Jerry's show <laughs> or if or if Jerry popped out and like on the mic and said hey Ronnie why don't you why don't you play one of those Elvis solos that that Elvis solo thing you do <laughs> look it up online um he does these crazy solos with Elvis but like I rarely ever have even heard a drum solo at a Jerry Garcia show, you know, so. Um, this is some really killer jamming, and I'll, I'll shut up for a second and we can listen to this. Um, but, in commemoration of the great Ron Tut, drummer for... Elvis Presley, Elvis Costello, let's see in my notes here, uh, Billy Joel, um, Graham Parsons, Emmy Lou Harris, Neil Diamond, I mean, it goes on and on, you know, um, amazing, amazing, well-respected musician, um, I do believe that, and I'm going to talk to Big Steve about Ronnie Tut on Thursday, if I can get in when I try and call into his show. But I believe that Big Steve has a story about when they were recording Cats Under the Stars, Ron was with them in the studio when Elvis passed away, and they heard it with him. So I'm going to ask him about that and a couple other things on Thursday. So um, uh, we might have some cool information about that in uh, another week or so. So, But yeah, this jam is really killer. You can hear him. Yeah, this is um, Garcia Band early show 2577 Goleta, California at, I believe it's Campbell Hall. So go and check it out on No Gnu's Good Gnu's channel, and I will add the link in here. I believe it's a Charlie Miller transfer. I'm not sure who the original taper is, but I'll give that credit as well. So great show. Great recording. Ronnie Tut. One of the most amazing live and studio drummers ever. Would have been 85 today. Here's to Ron Tut. Go explore all the music that he made with Jerry Garcia Band as well as all the other amazing artists he worked with. Go watch some of the T-U-T-T, -T -T, Ron Tut. Type that in and look at some of the Elvis solos and some of the outfits that they all wore as compared to Garcia Band t-shirts and jeans. <laughs> This is a great show. Early and late show, both incredible. Complete Ron Tut highlights. Awesome. Don't 
All right, getting kind of long-winded. Excuse me.